Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm looking at a mind mapping software called Essay Writer by Sparkspace. I'm going to have a quick review of it, see what you think of it. Again, it's great for planning, organising and structuring your work in both visual and linear formats. So let's get straight down to it. Now there's three different versions. This is Bibliography Edition, but you've also got a standard and premium 3D edition. Today I'm looking at the Bibliography Edition and see what you think. So first option here, you've got recent files, you can select that, so any recent files you've been working with you can access quickly. This option we're in now is new from template, so you can choose the template and how you want to start. If I scroll down there you can see varying templates, and for example we have one there for project plan. Come down a bit further and you might also have history essay there, or even requirements analysis. So you can choose one to open it up and work with straight away, rather than starting from scratch. But I'll be starting from scratch in a minute. You've got example maps and you see the clip art and pictures added to that. Again, that does reinforce the learning process, so it's definitely worth using them. A lot of the clip art's built into it as well, I'll show you that, but you can import external images as well. You've got phrase banks depending on what you're studying, and they're good to help you with essays and assignments. And we've got subject dictionaries. So I'm going to scroll down, I'm not look at this yet. What have we got? We've got legal there, hair and beauty. What else do we have? We've got maths, oh I hate maths, because I'm no good at it. And if I scroll down a bit more, we've got media studies. So let's open up media studies for example. And it will open up there to zoom in, if you can't see it, use the zoom button up here manually, or you can zoom in straight away using this option. And there you go, it gives you scenarios all to do with media, so that way you can work straight off them. And you can see it's done it alphabetically here, worked off alphabetically with subcategories. That's another great option. But what I want to do is go to File, New, and as I said, we're going to do a blank one from scratch. Double tap, and it should open up. Now we're ready to go. Now the best way to create branches, I'll find, or symbols or ideas, is just to type and click Enter. So you don't have to keep coming up pressing the button to create a new one. Now there's varying methods of doing this. You could do a rapid fire option. So I'm going to click rapid fire here. I'm going to type some ideas. Do a left click, Structures. And click the enter key there's my first idea now i can hit the rapid fire option and start working off that and click enter again and just keep going through your ideas and there you go i'll quickly brainstorm my ideas down and it structured it structured them for me as well not it doesn't matter if it's not in order hold the left button and you can drag them exactly where you want them can you see it's also changed the color of them as well so you know which is your main idea and your sub ideas. But I'm going to get rid of that. Control A and select delete. I'm not going to use the rapid fire option this time. I'm just going to double tap to create your first little symbol. So just double left click. And let's do that again. This time I'm just going to click enter key. Now you see how it's worked a little different. They're not joined. But this way it gives you more manoeuvre to position them where you want precisely. So you can have a number of ideas and you go right, my main idea is in the middle. I want bridges to be my first. I hold the left button and drag over it for about a few seconds. You see it turns green, then let go and drag it where you want. Again, skyscrapers. Hold the left button, drag over it. When it turns green, drag it, drop it where you want. And again, same with tunnels. Drag over it and then drop it where you want. And that way you can also organise using that way. Now if you've got many ideas when you put them together, it probably work better than the rapid fire. But again, the choice is yours, how you want to work that. So I've got some basic ideas down there. Okay, let's start building up the visual mapping to help me remember stuff. Now this at the beginning, they've got clip art. So I'm going to select clip art at the top, and it'll bring this little window up of clip art. And we've got a search option here, find. You can go through categories here quickly. So I'm looking for buildings and stuff. So I'm going to select buildings. And again, I could look at that and say, well, it's not what I really want. So come back up here and you've got an option that says up folder, take you back out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select find, see if I can find anything. So I'm going to type in tunnels. I've got nothing for tunnels. Again, I'll do another search, click it again. And I've got something a little bit familiar with a bridge. So I could hold the left button and drag that on to change it. But it's not exactly what I'm looking for. So if you can't find the clip art, because it's about visual mapping as well, close that, open up Google. I'm going to go to images and I'm going to type in there bridges. 
be more selection. What we've got, we've got Golden Gate Bridge there. Let's got Tower Bridge there as well. That looks quite an amazing bridge. I'm going to right click that and I'm going to copy it. So left click copy. Right click where you want to put the image and paste it. Left click and there you go, you got your image quickly. So there's a quick way of doing it as well if you can't find the clip art. Now, if you do that, you're going to lose your structure in a sense with the colours. Look, so we've got pink as main idea, green as sub idea. So if I want to create another little symbol off of here, so if I double tap, so bridges I could put suspension bridges and click enter. Hold the left button and drag it on till it turns different colour and pull it off. I just want to show you how the colour system works because that's your main idea. It's a pinky purple colour, then it turns green and then it turns an orange colour so you see your structure. So if I come to skyscrapers, double tap, just double tap anywhere. And click enter. Again, hold the left button and drag it on where you want. So you can still use images because it still gives you that visual map and you don't always have to use colours just to let you know. So there you go, I'm starting to build up my ideas, but I want to add additional information to that. For example, I want to add information about the Empire State Building. So you see I've got that highlighted. Come to the top here. This is your ribbon at the top. We're actually on idea map at the moment. So all we can see is the map, visual map. We could just see text format or idea map. So you can work between the two. So you can see how I've built up my visual mapping and there you can see it in text format. But I like to see both so I can work off both. So I'm going to select map and text. And that way I can see on the left my images and on my right I can see how it's building and structuring. So let's see how that's structured, shall we? The first option structures at synced as my main idea. Then bridges, again you can see how that's synced, and suspension bridges, and then it goes to skyscrapers and Empire State Building. So if I move one of these, so if I drag tunnels, and I'm gonna move that up to there, you see how tunnels has gone to my number one idea because it's working clockwise. So that way it's a great way just to structure your information to work with. Again, I'm going to pull tunnels down and make that my end idea. And you can see as I drag it, it highlights it in blue at the bottom here as well. Because that's what I've selected. So if I select Empire State Building, it highlights it blue so you know what you're working with. So now I can start adding information in. So I could go right. So I've got my bridges, which is my idea here. And I want to talk about suspension bridges. So then I could click into here and start typing away. See, I've done a spelling error. If I come up to the top, we've got the spell check button. Click to the right, and you can either have highlight misspelled words. You might not want to do that if you're working away and do that at the end, but I like to leave that on. Or select spell checker options, and you can change your language there. So make sure you choose the relevant language, okay? Also, got subject specific dictionary. So you can choose if you're doing a specific subject and spell check to choose that because that will make a big difference, obviously, with scientific words or medical terminologies and also personal word list that you can add your own words by clicking add word there if need be or even delete them so with that option you can see down here we've got a number of options including idea mat so you can choose the initial size width you can do your idea style so you can change the styles if you want to different colors and click ok and you've got link styles as well so you can choose what kind of link styles you want and that's how one links to another Text to speech, I'll show you where you've got there. So you can change the language. I've got it on Hazel. I'm gonna leave it on Hazel. She's okay, click test. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. But if I'm not happy with that, I can always change it later. And there's your clip art view we looked at earlier as well. And text editor. So don't worry too much about this till you start creating your maps and then you can tweak them as you're going along. And then your phase banks, which I'm gonna show you as well. None's enabled yet, but if we look here, so I'm going to select one there. I'm going to select the first two and click OK. Click Apply, Save, and click OK. And the phase bank's up here, but we'll show you that in a minute. So let's do the spelling first, shall we? So come up the top and select Spell Check. And there's my first word. I'm happy with that. Suggestions. Yes, I'm going to replace that. Next one, Skyscrapers. Again, I can select the one I want and click Replace. And it's my spell check done. If you want to listen to it back and select text to speech. Structures, bridges, suspension bridges, 
are a fabulous creation of engineering and skill. If you want to hear it all back, no problem. We can click skyscrapers, page. Empire State Building, and then it'll read back for you as well. So there's suspension bridges. Now, if you're doing a Pacific degree, you might need your phase bank here. So now that I've added them, let's have a look at academic. What have we got there? We've got Manchester. Describing methods, reporting results, discussing findings, writing conclusions. So you might go introducing work, click the sub menu, and then you can choose what you want. So we've got establishing the importance of the topic, click drop down menu, and have a little scroll down, and it'll give you phrases you can use. So I'm going to open up this option here. The past decade has seen the rapid development of X in many. And it's a good way just to help with phrases as you're creating your essays and plans and ideas. Now you've got your dictionary here, haven't you? So let's get it sorted. Open it up. It's going to ask you to choose a dictionary now. So I'm choosing Oxford. I'm going to go subject specific dictionary and choose something. I'm just going to choose English and select apply. And select OK. And now open it up. And now you see you can enable your dictionary there. So it's up to you which ones you want to choose. You might select them all, but it's up to you how you want to create your dictionary. And click cancel. This will show paragraph structures. I'll show you that later as well as we build it up. And if you need bullet points, you can choose your bullet points there by clicking on them. And to the right, you can change which kind of bullet point you want as well. But I'm going to turn that off for now. Now let's carry on with the map. So I'm going to click back on bridges and create another one off of that. Now I could use again the rapid fire option, but just double tap and type in your next option. Let's do a standard bridge if there's such a thing. Now hold the left button and drag it onto bridges. Remember it connects and let go. Now if you're not happy with the colours by the way here, if I drag them up, we can change those colours. Do a right click on the symbol, come all the way down and select appearance. And then you can select from bold, underline, increase or decrease fonts, text color, and you can also choose fill color. So you might decide, actually, I'd rather have that as a yellow. So you can change your colors as well. So you, you're not rigid to the colors that they're giving you, just to let you know. And we come up the top here, you can even change your shape if you're not happy with the shape there as well. Also, you can have maybe a different kind of fill color in there as well, as you can see, if you're not happy with that. So even the connections here, if I click on it, we can change the color and the width. So it stands out when you're doing ideas. You can choose bi-directional or one specific direction. So they're all accessible there for you and quite easy to get to. I'm going to click down now into Empire State Building. might still be the highest but I don't think it is anymore now what you could do is you could go online knowledge is not brilliant is it I'm going to type in Empire State Building and I'll go to wiki I know you can't use that as a source but I'm just going to use this as an experiment hold the left button and I'm going to copy that control C pop back in writer and I'm going to pop it into here by clicking control V to add my information and you see that's now added. I don't want that italicized and I'm not happy with the color, so I'm going to re-highlight it, come up to here, and I'm going to change the color there to black, just for now. I mean, I could always highlight specific information, for example, here, that you might have, and change the color, highlight color, to yellow. But what I want to show is come up to the paragraph option. And what it does, it color codes it for you into paragraphs so you see where you're at and what you're doing. So it's a good way to help you structure information. If you don't want it, just untap it. But it's there for you to access. Now when you're finished, now you can hold the left button, create rectangles around what you want and drag that information into the position you might want it. So I've dragged that as so, so you can see how it's changing in my format. Hold the left button, drag that down. And again, drag that into position you want. Now, I'm going to click into the text format option here. When I click into it, things change at the top. It gives you the options to access. Now, you can add images in here by copying and pasting where you want as well. You don't have to have them all on the left, just to let you know your linear format. But let me show you how to add more information here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on a blank bit 
on the visual screen and we've got new so I've got options here what I want to create so what I was doing before I could do a text idea click on that and it gives me a text idea on the right or if I right click new I could do a hyperlink so I can link to a website or even a file now I'm going to open up Google and say you want to use this as a, a reference I'm going to copy it obviously don't use that as a reference now if I double tap it, it brings up this window URL is where you paste the link, Control V. Now here you've got an option, you can link to a file, website, email, or another map you've done that you're integrating, or any other file you want. So what I'll do is I'm going to select web, and remember, Control V, and then I can give the hyperlink a name, and it just could be Wiki Empire. Now I'm going to click launch to make sure it's linked OK absolutely is so I can minimize that so I'm happy with that so just close it now I've got the link it's on its own but now I can choose what I want to attach it to so I'm going to attach that to Empire State and let go and that way I've got a bit of research to that again I can right click do new again hyperlink but this time just double tap it I might have a file on my computer or Mac browse I should use anything as an example I should use this file here delivery and give it a name and close again hold the left button drag it to where you want and then I've built my research of an Empire State Building you can see the bottom right hand corner it indicates whether it's a file or a web link also if you do a right click go new you can have a table of contents. So if you're building an essay or your work, let me show you. I'm going to open it up. So I've got table of contents. Now I'm going to drag that to where I want. So I'm dragging that on the main title and put it up here. And look what it's done for me at the bottom there. Table of contents. Word section. The amount of words percentage I've got in there. And all titled and structured. So another great option there. Right click again, go new. Also, I've got an option called bibliography reference so I'm going to come back up here we know that come from wiki don't we but we need the reference for it again I'll say not though you I'm not recommending you reference from wiki but do a right click and select new and select bibliography reference and this will pop up so what we need to do now is get the reference for Empire State Building so I'm going to double tap it and it brings up this option now it's asking me reference type Reference type is not a book or article, it's a website. So I'm going to scroll down and there we go, web page. Now I can start adding the information. Now from a web page, it depends on what reference style you're using. Bear in mind, it could be APA, Harvard, Chicago, I do not know. But I'm just going on the theory that it might be Harvard. So I'm going to open this up. Obviously, there'll be no author for Wikipedia because anyone puts the information in. So if that's the case, you put the name of the website in. So the name of the website would be Wikipedia. So if we open it up, I'm going to type in there Wikipedia. Then you want the title. So again, check the information is the Empire State Building and copy that. Try and copy when you can so you don't make a mistake. Control V. No organization. And we've got a year for that Wikipedia. I'm going to scroll to the bottom. Well, it was last edited on 19th of August. 2017 so I'm going to have that as the 19th of August so that will be a year 2017 then we want the link so we just copy the link right click and copy control V access date is when you accessed it so that would be today's date that reminds me doing this my brother's birthday I better text him now and the 8th and 2017 and you can add a note or quote if you want from that and then click close now I've got the reference for that so now I can drag that onto here let go I've also now got website link I've got information on my computer regarding the Empire State Building and if I double tap that and I've got the reference information for that as well right click it again new you can have a list of references, so as you build them up, so if I click list of references, I can have a list of references, so I could grab that and drag that onto there. 
as my references. It depends on which way you're putting them in order. And see at the bottom, it gives my reference and where it is as well. So again, as I say, it's such a powerful option. Right click again. We've also got down there, you can add images. As so, you can have, so you can have specific images you can add to that if you want. And right click again, you can also add a list of images that you've added as well. So you're building up all your information. I know that map's a bit of a mess, but I've been adding everything just to show you, okay? But I'm sure yours will be a lot more structured than mine is. Now you kind of get the idea with that, but what we need to do, we need to export options, don't we? Because you might want to export this to a word processor, maybe a PDF, maybe it's an image. You might even want to print it. Come top left hand corner and select File and select Print Preview. And there's your map, looking fine. If it's single page, click on that, it's a single page. You can change the width to have a look at it as well. But what I want you to do is come out of there. I want you to change this to text. So you've got more of a structure. Then go to File and then Print Preview. And you can see that more of a structured linear format. Click Next and it will show all your pages as you go between them. That's fine. But say you want that in a word processor when you're finished. No problem. Come up to File. And I want you to select Save As. Now give it a name there. I just call it References. The whole point of this is that you're going to save the file first before you do anything with it. Because you might want to go back and work on it. So just leave everything as it is. Write a document and click Save. Once you have saved it, go to File. Save As. But this time, click the drop down menu where it says Save As Type. And choose which format you like to save that in. So I wish to save that in a Microsoft Word. So I'm using .doc. I'm going to leave it as references and click save. Now I'm going to open up the Word document and have a look. And there it is. All structured, all organised. Obviously if you've given it as an essay then you probably wouldn't have all these links with you. But these links anyway, if you do send it to Word, if you hold control and click on them, they go straight to whatever link you tap them on as well, which is really handy for your research and building information. So there's a few basics. I hope that was a help. Thanks for watching.